From 1947 to 1989, the Venetian Room reigned supreme as America's premier supper club. It was here that Tony Bennett introduced his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. And show business legends like Ella Fitzgerald, Marlena Dietrich, Joel Gray, Bobby Short, James Brown, Vic Damone, Nat King Cole, and many, many other performers held forth for more than four decades. My first memory of the Venetian Room was when I worked for the San Francisco Chronicle and I did reviews of the shows here. And the biggest one for me was Tony Bennett. But there were many, many other big shows that I went to. Uh, I went to uh, Ella Fitzgerald and uh, Jack Jones and Diane Carroll and uh, the Mills Brothers and many, many other wonderful shows. Some of the entertainers that I remember, well, one of the most was an evening that I was here and Dick Swig came up and introduced this young man and he said, this, this is going to be one of very famous entertainer. His name is Sammy Davis Jr. He was a very young man and he was in a group called the Will Maston Trio, which was his father, his uncle, and him. And he sat down at the table with us and I, my husband and I and the others were just fascinated with him. He was very young, but he was very personable. We said, you know, this guy is really going to make it in show business. <laughs> Which, of course, I think one of the first places he came was the Venetian Room. The Venetian Room was all about sophistication, glamour. It represented San Francisco at its finest. Ladies would come by with opera-length gloves. Men would wear tuxedos, or at least a dark suit. Women wore corsages. People smoked in those days, and we had cigarette girls that would go around. It was all about the mystique of being sophisticated and going out to dinner. Marlena Dietrich, uh, I was tasked with looking after her during her Venetian Room performance, and it was a very, very uh, complicated protocol. We had the elevator repainted, and we even put a chandelier in it. I'm talking the service elevator, because we would pick her up in her suite every night at the designated hour. She would walk down the red carpet that was specially laid for her from her suite to the service elevator. She would go into the elevator where we also had a red carpet and she would get off at the kitchen level behind the Venetian room where there was yet another red carpet to get her to her destination. And uh, those carpets would be immediately rolled up for later. No one else was allowed to tread on them. Another entertainer was Lena Horne. She really pulled in a lot of people. She was absolutely gorgeous. People always wanted to sit up front, particularly the men, because she was so gorgeous and, and so provocative. And the song she sang was so wonderful. I'm so thrilled that Bay Area Cabaret is giving the Venetian Room not exactly a rebirth, but a kind of refreshment and bringing it back to life. The city needs a place like this where you can go with your friends and just enjoy the, an evening with wonderful, wonderful music. I can't tell you how excited we are to have the Bay Area Cabaret back here in the iconic Venetian Room and at the Fairmont San Francisco. This is long overdue. I think, I think it's, it's, it's the right time and the right place for Bay Area Cabaret and I'm so pleased and I congratulate you all and bring them on because we're going to come and see your show.